Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the Skyrim Princess. I'm so glad you could join me. In the last episode, we traveled from Winterhold to Alfton in search of the Crimson Ninroot. Now I hope we made it in the right spot because everything seems to have reset. So if this doesn't lead anywhere, we might go back outside and then go to that elevator section, hopefully to get to the Crimson Ninroot. So let's go. And it's called Nimroot, and I keep saying Nimroot. Nimroot. I, th I guess I couldn't see. It was R and not an N. Oh, you have gotten off the shelf, diligent. Are you happy? Oh, good. So let us continue. Excuse me. Ah! Okay. Yes. Okay, here we go. I wonder if I click the button again. No. Oh. It closes. I'm just gonna have to run through it. Here we go. And we. Oh, and I just added extra fire. So that's it. Uh oh. You're like cooking in the armor. Ah, no, no, no. Traps everywhere. Little button. I wait. I said wait. Oh, really? Ah! No. Here, I'm using the war. I was oh, well, that worked pretty good. Okay. Everybody's good. Okay. I think if I am correct, this goes upstairs. Ah. I could do this real quick. Ah. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I have nine, over 99 lockpicks. Ah! Finally. Finally. Well, I can I can sell some stuff. More lockpicks for all those that I lost. Ah. Uh oh, I'm carrying too much. Denmark Need you to carry a few things. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Yes, you as well. Let's trade some things. Sure. Feel free to hey. hand me all the gold you want. Just a weapon. Eh. Well, he can have the arrows anyway. And these. Oh, is Stenvar carrying too much? We're both carrying too much. I'm going to have to store this. Sorry, Stenvar. Let's go. Sorry, we're gonna have to sell the stuff you have too. Didn't realize Stenvar could hold too much. I didn't realize that. I don't like fighting these dwemer. <laughs> hey, 
Where's the fun in killing something that doesn't even bleed? Spinmar? I don't know what to say. Still carrying too much. Well... What is this? Oh, 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 this the book that I have to return. Well, at least not holding too much. Happy ghost sword. Ah! Out of nowhere! Hey! Not today! Oh! Right at the Mechanical alien robot spider. Excellent name. Mechanical alien robot spider. Oh wait! I forgot to check down there. Ha ha! Hopefully this is easier. Not the best of these. Yes. Well, I'll take the healing. The medicine of healing. And there's nothing down here. Ah. <laughs> Stamina. Or strength. I'm glad that I came back. I think that's it. We're leaving, vigilance. We're leaving. And then at the top of the stairs, I think it's right across from that elevator. I think. Open to Skyrim. I've only s I think I've seen oh, who is he? Let me know in the comments. Who is he? Because he was in the Labyrinthian. But I'm wondering I I think it said who he was, but I don't remember. Ha! We have made it. Let's keep going. There. Oh, what's this? We just have to go up there. Hey! Ah. This way. We made it. I think this is the place. Hello. Wonder if they restocked this. Ah, 
he did. Ah. Yes. One time. Everyone ready? Yes. Let us go. Where does the mar go? Ready, Stenmar? Vigilance, vigilance is waiting for you. Okay, ready? Here we go. Going to find the significance of Crimson Root. N Nern Root. Many steamed anima and melancholy remain active. Okay, I didn't finish it. <laughs> Where it is. We're here. I didn't know if they restocked their stuff. Oh, Actually, Vigilance, I think you should stay here. Yeah. I think you'll be fine here. I don't think there's anything in here. Yes. We'll be back. Are you okay, Stembar? You just seemed in a daze. Lead on then. Oh, okay. I'll make sure vigilance is good by shutting the door. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Here we go. I'm not the best. Skyrim's workers are often hunted for their tusks and meat. I would just call them a seal. <laughs> well, type of seal. Here we go. I should probably save just in case. <laughs> just in case. I think we gotta go back in that room. Oh no, oh no, oh no! I go in here! Okay. That wasn't too bad. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. But I think we'll get it. <laughs> Oh my, oh. A skull? Oh, what? His journal. I want some gold. In his skull? Interesting. Well, let me see. Let me see. Well, he did stock up again, I guess. Yes. How could I miss that the last time? Oh, there's a potato. I might as well take it. Alright. Well, let's see.
Here it is. Okay. Completed. Discover. Collect 30 crimson nern root in black reach. Oh. Cinder runs field journal. Oh my. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. I've spent a large portion of my life unraveling the mystery of the Nern Root, and yet I still feel unfulfilled. The, thr the thrilling sounds this strange herb emits seems to taunt me and push me even harder to discover its secrets. Even after a generous and indomitable traveler became a field collector in my stead and provided me with five score of the Nern Root, I was only able to muster what I consider a mediocre alchemical, alchemical creation at best. This only served to strengthen my hunger and whet my appetite for the solution. It wasn't until over 50 years later that the answer to my prayers was carried into my basement workshop at the West Weald Inn. Ooh. The first thing I heard was the familiar tone. The unmistakable warble, un warble unique to the Nern root. But when I turned around, my heart leaped and a chill ran down my spine. This was indeed a Nern root, but of a variety of a but of a variety, the likes of which I have never seen. The herb was awashed in a spectacular array of red hues, each leaf seemingly emblazoned with innumerable variations of crim crimson. I couldn't move. I was completely transfixed. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined a species of Nern root with such a unique property. After an awkward silence, I finally managed to stammer out a few questions to the traveler who'd brought me this treasure. He told me his name was Obeth Arnesian, a treasure seeker from Skyrim. Apparently, he'd been exploring a vast subterranean network of grand caverns called Blackreach and had stumbled across what he dismissed as a noisy red weed. His expedition was largely unsuccessful, and he didn't want to leave the caves empty-handed, so Obeth picked one of the Crimson Nern root to bring home. He said that it took some time, but eventually he was pointed my way and that perhaps I'd pay a fair price for it. Before I could gather my wits and ask anything else, Obeth offered to sell me the Crimson Nern root sample, a map showing me how to find Blackreach in the strange key needed to breach its outer defenses. It took me mere moments to decide. Obeth left Singrad, a thousand septims richer. But I... <laughs> oh, it says, Obeth left Sigrad, Skingrad, a thousand septims richer. But I would have easily paid ten times that amount to obtain the sample alone. It took a year of planning, but I was able to pack up and sell my workshop and make my way into Skyrim. Before delving headfirst into Blackreach, I knew I needed to set up a new laboratory, but wished to do so in seclusion. After making inquiries at the College of Winterhold, of which I was an honorary member, I was directed to speak to Avrusa Sarathai, a student of botanical alchemy who had a small farm near the city of Riften. By bartering my knowledge of Nern root cultivation, I was able to secure Sarathai Farm as, as a launching point for my field research. I kept the knowledge of the crimson root a secret from Avrusa, but imparted everything else I knew to her in exchange for her hospitality. A few months passed, but I was finally able to, oh, finally ready to enter Blackreach. I used the ruined lexicon ruined lexicon that Obeth had provided and descended into the depths. My goal was to gather enough crimson nern root to produce my greatest alchem alchemical creation to date. I was certain it would take at least 30 of them to provide the necessary catalyst. This brings me to the present. 
My initial research seems to indicate that the crimson nernroot has a similar affinity for moisture as the garden variety, but also maintains some sort of symbolic symbio symbiotic relationship with the enormous fungi that inhabits Black Reach. It's my guess that the fungi itself is a source of water, absorbing it from the moist subterranean air like a sponge. This provides the ideal environment for the nern root to grow. Unfortunately, the crimson nern root appears to have a, ver a vastly shortened lifespan, and they are in no way plentiful down here. Gathering 30 of them will be quite the challenge, but hopefully the dense denizens of Black Reach will allow me to ga gather my samples unhindered. That's interesting. So now I see why I have to gather 30. Hmm. By Wait. the nine, I'd pay good money for a pint of ale to warm my bones. I just read the story. I, you just want some ale? Oh, Stenbar. Maybe he has, he has some, I don't know. Well, this has been an interesting episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you and keep smiling.